Like this video and subscribe or this spider will be crawling around in your bed at night. Yo, what is up, guys? It's AC here, back for a brand new video. Today, we'll be having a look at seven YouTubers that secretly voice acted in some of the most popular movies ever. Keep on watching to see some of your favorite YouTubers, including FGTV, Jelly, JoJo Siwa, and Mr. Beast. Coming in straight at number seven, we have Mr. Beast, one of the richest YouTubers on the platform. He already has multiple channels for different things and has also opened his own fast food restaurant. But now he's planning to start making animated movies, voice acted by himself and his friends. And in this clip, you can see a preview of that. It's super cool and you must see it. Today, I just bought my most terminally ill fan his replacement heart. Oh, oh my God. Is that Mr. Beast? This kid looks sick as heck, dude. Bruh. Do you want a heart to save your life? Or do you want a Mr. Beast rap Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. Good boy. But if you guys have watched right until the very end of the video. Next up at number six, we have Ellen DeGeneres, who has her own TV show and a YouTube channel with almost 40 million subscribers. However, not many people know that she actually starred in Finding Nemo back in 2003. Back then, she wasn't really popular, so she was super lucky to get picked for Dory's voice. But what's even crazier is that over a decade later, she starred in Finding Dory. By that time, she already was super popular, and she did it because she likes Dory so much. So let's take a look. Dory, look. Please. All I know is that I miss them. I really, I really miss them. I, I didn't even know what that felt like. <gasps> oh my goodness, Nemo, are you okay? Great. Yes, great idea. You take me to find him. Why didn't I think of that? Come on. Oh, no, 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 if I just take your tag, I can take your place in the transport truck, then you can go back inside and find your family. All you have to do is just give me the tag. What tag? There's a, <gasps> there's a tag on my fin. At number five, we have Jojo Siwa. And if you're a fan of her, you know just how energetic and enthusiastic she can be. These two traits were exactly what the makers of Angry Birds 2 were looking for, and they actually asked her to voice a small, energetic bird called Jay. If you've seen this movie before, you probably didn't even realize that it's actually Jojo Siwa. So let's roll the clip. Performances. And then Jojo Siwa agreed to do a voice. Mommy, did you get my picture? Did you get it, Mom? She's got so much energy and has this little raspy voice. And I think it just makes her pop. Mm, I got it! Oh! I was just so happy because I've never done a feature film before. So what better way to jump into the feature film world than the most adorable and awesome animation ever? Red here has got your back. And your front, and your sides. And my floof? Yeah, even your cute little floof. Next up at number four, we have Jelly, who you might know from his Minecraft videos, but did you know that he actually has voice acted in several animated movies created by his friends? You might think that he did a bad job, but actually he's super good, and he should do more stuff like this, so keep on watching. Guys, guys, listen. They make this is a no, YouTube map. I found him. Map. I found him. I found no, him. you've YouTube. not found me. I found a YouTube him. YouTube map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story. You should explore because Jordy. there's. Oh, no, you need to change. To your channel. Flush yourself. Oh, this isn't Jordy. This okay. is the sh part of YouTube, Josh. Well, no. excuse me, Jelly language. Okay, first of all. Oh, wait. Let's do okay. that again. This is the trashy part of YouTube. Oh, Josh. I just saw a door open. <laughs> what? A door. And number three, we have Colleen Ballinger, also known as Miranda Sings. And if you're a fan of her, you should know that her biggest dream was to voice act in a Disney movie. And it actually became a reality when Disney asked her to voice act in a movie called Wreck-It Ralph 2. What's absolutely insane is that she not only voice acted a character, but that the character was actually her. It's super nice to see her dreams coming true, so let's check it out. Exciting. I'm in a Disney movie. What? <laughs> I'm so excited. So I am in Ralph Breaks the Internet. It's the sequel to Wreck-It Ralph. And I, they asked me to be in it so long ago, and I was like, yes, 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 whatever you want, whatever you want, whatever you want. Like, cause it's been my dream. Like, I have two really big dreams. Like, I have a lot of little dreams and goals, but like, one of them is to be on Sesame Street. Like, I really want to be on Sesame Street. And another one is to be a Disney character, or like, voice a Disney anything at Disney. I had always wanted to do that, and so when they asked me to come do it, I was like, yes. And it's a cameo, but with a crazy thing is, is that like, I'm not voicing a random character, I'm voicing myself, like, which is even cooler than like, doing a Disney character, like, I, and there's a Disney me, like, they made a Disney cartoon 
me, which is so wild. And I didn't think- Next up at number two, we have Charlie D'Amelio, who was literally the biggest YouTube star ever. And recently she voice acted in a movie called Star Dog and Turbo Cat. While in real life, she's super energetic, she actually got to play a meek mouse that's completely unlike her real personality. FGTV is coming next, so stay tuned. But for now, let's see how she did. Will you all just shut up and listen to me? Can a crystal help? Um, the hypolithium emits energy waves that can- That's a good question! My character was very shy and kind of didn't know how to say her ideas to the whole group at the beginning of the film. And towards the end, she kind of finds her voice and realizes that her ideas are important and she knows what she's talking about. Very excited to be working on my first animated movie because I feel like it's something that maybe not everyone would be comfortable to try. What I love most about TikTok would probably be the freedom and creativity I have and things I post and keep it very just fun for me because what's the point if I'm not having fun? I hope young kids watch this movie and learn the importance of teamwork and working together. We have Dan and Phil. Now, Dan and Phil are huge YouTubers in the UK, and they were actually asked by Disney to star in one of the movies, Big Hero 6. This movie is very popular, but literally no one knew that these YouTubers were actually hidden inside of it. They play the characters known as Technician 1 and Technician 2, who actually fix robots in the movie, guys. It's crazy. See it for yourself. Technician 1 and 2. I have a guy with brown hair. Yeah. If I kind of just did this, I'd look like the guy in the film. Mine's yeah. slightly receding and older than me. <laughs> I have been living as male technician one for like a week and a half now. The director said if there's exclamation marks, I have to give it my all. I was just extremely excited to come to the studios and see how the whole thing is put together. There's quite a lot of words in this one, so if I get it wrong 19 times, then just forgive me in advance. And it turned out that we'd be stood in front of a microphone in front of a giant projection of the movie. Yeah, I was terrified. We've lost all contact with the pod! Sir, we've picked up a slight irregularity in the magnetic... Con magnetic... Hi. We had Rick the director there, and we watched Instant Criticism. Let's try it again with a little more projection. Field breach, abort. The magnetic containment field is down. It's breaking up. That was perfect. Woo. Can you do it better? Uh, maybe. Finally, at number one, we have FGTV. And not many people know that Duddy had played in a movie. He not only acted, but he actually rapped, and I never expected him to be this good. It's super insane how well he can rap, and I can bet it will shock you. So let's check it out. Yeah, hit the floors, I'm firing off bars. Trigger happy on the track, I don't mean to be starting wars. But my arsenal is laced with forcible audible audio. Caught in a margin of market, apart from a carnival of industry carnivores. Fiending for being on his arbitral fleet of peace. Part of me if I beat him to particles, cardinal. Call me a credit card when I charge a boy Your vegetables obey my commands when I say you are the choke After I spit flames, many claim But few can do it when I spew it I spark the minds like it's lighter fluid Cause my preference spread and bliss to the negative I'm down, no sedatives, never kick it repetitive New breed, better than many men that have ever spit Never get acceptance, but still keep it benevolent The haters not relevant, they mad how I'm telling it Waiting for the slip up and...